At the end of the 1980s, the T-72B received Contact 5 explosive reactive armor, which was the first ERA to be effective against armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding SABO projectiles. One of the most powerful APFSDS rounds of the time was the American M829A1, featuring an extremely elongated depleted uranium penetrator. To counter APFSDS, Contact 5 incorporated a thick front flyer plate which disrupts projectiles as it is driven outwards by the explosive. This effect is particularly evident against M829A1 as it is a relatively thin and slow APFSDS projectile, making it susceptible to deflection. Subsequent M829 variants increased the muzzle velocity and thickened the body, likely making them more effective against reactive armor. While Contact 5 would have greatly increased the T-72B's protection, its placement on the turret was very poor, with large gaps around the reactive armor. In contrast, the T-80U, also fitted with Contact 5, had a much better reactive armor layout on the turret.